If you're anything like me, color palettes are probably a big deal when it comes to your design workflow. Wouldn't it be great if you could just import your color palettes into Godot and use them wherever there's a color picker? Well, you can, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But first, I gotta ask you guys for a favor. I just want to borrow a like and a sub. I don't need to keep them forever, you can have them back whenever you want. But it doesn't cost anything, and it helps to get these videos in front of the people who need them. Alright, let's get after it. Welcome back everybody. As always, the first thing we're going to need is the GitHub repository. So there's a couple ways you can get it, just like always. You can come over here to the code, and you can either download the zip file, or you can just clone the repository. If you don't have any color palettes that you want to use in your project, let's take a look at this website that was scrolling in the intro. This is low spec, and if you come here, you can just click on this button at the top called palettes here. You can scroll down, you can see there's a whole bunch of palettes in here. There's thousands on this website, and they're all completely free. So let's just click into one of these, Implausible 20. You can see all the colors, all of the HTML codes for those colors. If you scroll down a little further, you'll see this download section. And this system will support either GPL files, which is the GIMP format, or hex files. So if you want to use a palette from this website, just make sure that you download one of these formats and you should be able to import it without issue. It should automatically take care of all of the parsing of that file for you. All right, once you have the add-on downloaded into your project, just go ahead and go up to the project, project settings, and make sure that you enable it. It's called color palette. And you'll see that that creates a new dock down here. And there's a few color palettes included with the system already. And you can add new swatches to them. You just click this little plus and that's going to create a white swatch. And if you click on that, you get your normal color picker and you can set that to whatever you want. And if you want to delete it, you just right click it and that will remove the swatch. If you'd like to import a color palette, you can just click this little button here. It says import palette. And that's going to open this window and you just navigate to the folder where you've downloaded your color palette. And as long as it's a hex or GPL file, you should be able to open that up, no problem. If you want to create a new color palette from scratch, you can just click this little button next to the import button that says create a new palette. And then you just give it a name and it's going to be created by default as a hex palette. That is the only format that this supports for creating new palettes because it is a lot easier to parse that information from a hex file than a GPL file. Now let's just take a look at our color rect here. So you'll notice that this looks a little different up here now. Usually you just have this color picker button, but next to the color picker button, we have this little palette button. And if you click that, it shows you all of the colors in the currently selected palette. And you can change these by going to the palette dock and just clicking this little up arrow. So if we want this pastel pop 16 color, let's just hit make global palette. And now when we click, we have that palette up here. So it's really that simple. And you still have the functionality that you would have normally with uh, Godot's color picker. There's no reason to change this because it's already awesome. It has so many features that are so useful. The only thing that Godot's really missing as far as a color system is the ability to import and export and save palettes. Let's take a look at this color. We'll click that palette button and just click on one of these. And it changes it automatically to whatever you've selected there from your options. And this is going to work with any palette that you decide you want to throw up there. And it just works the first time every time. There's no having to close the editor. There's no having to reload scenes. It just works, guys. And there's not really anything more to say. That's pretty much it. It's super simple. One thing is if one of you guys wants to port this into GD script so that it would be available for Godot users who prefer to use GD script, that would be great. And I am happy to link to the GitHub repository for that in the description of this video. Right now, this is only going to work with Godot.net 4 Plus. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.